Hey, hey, I have a very small haul. For me, it's a small haul, but it's a fab haul, but it's a small haul. All right, so stopped by my local Joann's today to see if they had the product that has been foretold that will be at certain Joann's stores, and it was at mine. So I picked up some. I only got one of the paper pads. I'll show you what I got. Okay. Let me go through this briefly. All right, so from the Jen Hadfield collection, let's see, this, this, I want to make sure to show you what's what. Okay, so from the Jen Hadfield homemade collection, I was able to, the, the Chasing Adventures, I was able to pick up these four things. Um, I think they had everything in I think they did I didn't see any open spots they did not have the paper pads for these type of products yet um, the lady who was setting up that aisle said that the Joanne store sent her the wrong shelving for the bottom part of the display so she didn't have the paper pads out yet but she did have some of the paper pads so they had the Chamel project pad and one other of company I hadn't heard of yet. It was very bright and preteen and exciting and fun, but it's not what I was hunting for. So let me show you what I got from this adorable set. I'll check back. I'm going to keep checking back to see if they got the rest of the paper project pads in. All right. So this is the, did I say Chasing Adventures? Chasing Adventures, Jen Hadfield Homemade. There's 73 stickers, and it's an off-white or cream base for the uh, the background color in these. It is not white, just in case you only like white base or cream base or whatever. I thought I'd tell you, but look at how cute it is. So we have all these little girls on traveling adventures. But we also have these cute little arrows. Look at the little coconut drink that's right there. So, you know, if you're going camping, that's a cute little bit. Look at that cute little coffee cup. We have a ship in a bottle. And then there's these cute little fruit pieces that are here and there. Look at, let's go on a hike together. That's adorable. The sunglasses looking at a big city. Little cacti. Cute little van so depending on what you're up to I bet you could make something adorable adorable with this okay next I picked up there's 41 puffy stickers and of course there's a llama because there's always a llama look at the world's cutest little camper I love the little camper and all of these adorable little arrows and the colors it's it's beyond cute that little puffy uh, drink right there. I don't know if it's supposed to be a coffee cup or what because there's a little straw. And had I known the price I was going to get these at, I would have got two. So when I go back, if these are still on the great sale, I will get them. The price, do I still have the, uh, I think they're 30 or 40 percent off all of the embellishments. So that also applied to this even though it wasn't up in the signage yet. But I did score. Okay, so this is the 40-piece ephemera. And it comes in two little different packages. I love the little cell phones that you can see. So let me put it up here close. Make it, make it so that you can see it. But aren't those just so cute? Lots more of the little wood arrows and cute little tags put in there. There's uh, some gold finishing in this but it's not like a super super yellowed out gold it's like the right in the middle of the spectrum of gold kind of gold so that is adorable 40 pieces love it because I always need way more ephemera than anybody should and then the next one this one has 40 as well and this one I'm going to put it up close let me get it to focus in for you this has 
lot of the girls and the sunglasses and the cityscape and the flowers. So let me put them side by side in case you wanted to see what was what with each of them. Aren't they fabulous? Then again, I absolutely love Jen Hatfield. So there you go. That's what's in the two different ephemera packs. So are they called anything different? They both say chasing adventure. They both say ephemera. So you'll just have to make sure that if you want both to somehow tell the difference. I don't know. I just know that I like them. Okay, so that's the Jen Hadfield goodies I got. Then, let me show you from Sunny Days, I only got two things. Now, they had lots and lots and lots of things, but they didn't have the paper pad, but they did have... Um, Gosh, I think they had the sticker sheet. They had just about everything. They had this really beautiful gold trim. They had, they didn't have the puffy stickers because that's what I wanted that I didn't get to pick up. But the reason why I didn't pick up a lot of the embellishments is because I have them. They're right over there. So <laughs> otherwise I would have gotten them. So I did pick up, there are two journaling runners for the Sunny Days collection. Look at, they're so cute and they're so little. They're itty bitty. And one of them, I think they're just adorable, is just these little tiny, let me see, I wanna make sure that it comes in, little tiny lines. And then the other one says, love this, happy heart, magic moments, the little things, XOXO. They're so cute. And let's see, it says there's they are 31 inch by 5.7 yards. So I'm sure that's 0 0.31 of an inch, but I can't see the little polka dot. So there's a lot. I'm looking forward to using them and adding them for little touches. And look at how cute this little girl on the bike is. She might be getting cut out and being used as an embellishment. The next thing I picked up is the Sunny Days 202 stickers. There's eight sheets. So I'm gonna open it up just to show you. I don't have this, and this is just the kind of thing to really let me layer up my embellishments. I got my Maggie Holmes goodies from the Scrap Room uh, Kit Club. So there's not like a separate little book. So I might go ahead and, I don't know if I'm gonna staple them together or not. All right, so our first page. These, This is a clear backing, lots of sunglasses and cute little swimsuits and adorable little cameras and shells. This is clear backing as well, and it's this absolutely gorgeous indigo blue with a, like a deeper teal turquoise blue. Very, very pretty. So are they all clear backing? Yep, these are all clear. All right, so which is great. So either you can have it on your page as some, something that you can see, but you can see the background behind it, or you can put it on a little piece of white cardstock and have it really bright. So it's up to you. Okay, all kinds of little words. Labels and labels and labels and labels. All right, so this one has all these great little words, and it's, all the colors in the collection you can see are highlighted. That is fantastic. So offline, unplug, no Wi-Fi, vacay mode, happy moments, all that kind of stuff. Just adorable. It just has to decide what it wants to focus on. All right, so this is itty bitty little icons everywhere. Oh my goodness, look at the golf carts. Those are cute. So cute. Little airplanes and all those great pastel -y colors. Grab my hand, let's go. This is this absolutely gorgeous medallion. So pretty. I'm probably going to have to cut that little thing in half so I can get a little mileage out of it. Ooh, and this one is this big one. Oh, that's really pretty. So, oh, and that's getting fussy cut up because I want to use bits and bits and bits and bits of all of that. So that's the eight piece eight um sheets for the sticker sheets so i those are the two things i got for make homes then i got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of the chamel oh shoot 
I didn't show you this. Um, from the Chasing Adventures, I got these dimensional stickers as well from Jed Hadfield. And I have her dimensional stickers from another collection, and I just love them. They are so fantastic, and they add this, this great punch to your pages. So that is perfect. I think that's a little cup of tea. Doesn't that look like a tag on the tea? That's hilarious. Okay. So the Chamel goodies, because there's a lot. Okay. So first, I got the Chamel Sparkle City, and they had tons of it. The only thing, like I said, they did not have, I think, were the puffy stickers. Like the cute little ones, and I love the little puffy stickers in her collections. So this is two sheets of Robbins, and I like it because, I mean, you have the purple in here, but a lot of this turquoise color and some of the pinks. Oh, so cute. Look at the cute little drink. So let me show you what the two sheets have on it. I see a nice bit of yellow on the second sheet too. So we have those. And then I picked up the 71 piece sticker sheet and it's six by six and six by six. So you do get 12 by 12 worth. So I'm gonna put it kind of like that because I want you to really see. So if you wanna screenshot it, you can and adjust your photo however you would like. There is a, uh, is that holographic? Yep, a bit of a holographic feel. Like, look at those pigeons. Look at that pigeon's face. That's hilarious. Anyway, so there's holographic on the stars, on the writing, in the little diamonds. So yes, you get some holographic as well as on these words. And then this is the other side flipped. So once again, there's holographic in the stars. This camera strap has it. This great um, cotton candy. Oh my goodness, it, there's a little balloon animal dog. That's so cute. Okay, so picked that up. Okay, then I did get the 30 piece cardstock and lenticular shapes. Oh, I see what lenticular means. It's, oh my, these are the bee's knees. Okay, all right, let me show you what lenticular means because I didn't know that was a real thing. And apparently it is. So apparently lenticular, watch me be saying it wrong, so hold on. Yes, lenticular is, it looks one way in one color, like the color changes. How will I put this in a scrapbook when I just want to play with it and look at it? So it says up and at them and like the dots kind of go here and there on it. Those are really cool. So is there any other ones that are lenticular? Oh, look at this one. This one that says glow and shine, depending on how you look at it. Oh my. I don't know how we exactly hide these away in an album. This might be a, a terrible hoarding situation. Okay. So apparently that's what lenticular means. And here are, so these are the len lenticular pieces right here. And that is the die cut parts. And it says they're cardstock. So that is an incredible collection of goodies. I need more of those. Okay, I also did pick up the Sticky and Washi book folder. So... Look at how great the packaging is. Do not get rid of your packaging. You might want to use that. And even this sticker would be great. If you can cut out that sticker and use it to just see part of the corner peeking out. Okay, I'm digressing. All right, so this very cool piece here with the holographic on it is your folder. Love it. And let me show you, let's see, 364 pieces. All right, so there is, so these look, yeah, you get like a holographic silver foiling on these as well. Those are fab. Some nice little banners and cute little adhesive sticker lines, little words. Oh, these are cool. These are washi. Much different feel to the paper. So you've got some washi goodies. 
These are washi as well. Look at the little love bug in the cameras. Cute. All right, so these alphas are a great color. I don't know what color. They're like the dustiest charcoal with a hint of purple in there. And then the holographic is picking up the blues, pinks, and purples. Very cool. So we have a bunch of little label bits on this one. Oh, lots of holographic words on these. Let me hold it so you can see them. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Very useful. Oh, and look at all the cute little tiny adorable icons. The thing that's so great about these is you add, oh yeah, this product is old, but you add just a little bit of diamond accents or KI glue, if anybody remembers this stuff. And you're gonna have yourself a great enamel shape because it feels so nice and thick and sturdy, these cardstock feeling stickers. And they don't have like a shiny surface, so it's gonna take this beautifully. All right, that is fabulous, absolute bee's knees. Better than what I was expecting. Okay, then I have to show you the super duper 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 exciting part that I actually, okay, I'm having issues putting this in. Let me just put it to the side. All right, let me show you the cool, cool, cool thing that I was really hoping to get. I got the Sparkle City Project Pad. Ooh, I know. All right, so the project pad includes stickers, glitter, paper, and cardstock, and there's 24 sheets total. And it does look like there is some of the great holographic stuff. So this is the deal. I said that they didn't have the paper, these um, project pads, but the fabulous lady who was working at my Joann's, I told her how great they'd be. And I told her that they are Joann's exclusives and that I was really excited about it. And she's like, do you want me to go check to see which ones they have? And this was one of the two they had. They had this one, and I, like I said just a little while ago, they had this one, and then they had um, one by a company I'd never heard of. So none of the collections I'm showing you, aside from this one, had the project pad yet. So let me show you what we have. Oh, okay, so these, this is stickers. And now these are, they're not like the super, super flimsy kind, but they're thinner. But they have enough weight that they're not just going to tear on you easily. So you have a whole 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Oh, my word. And the thing that's cool about it is when I'm looking at it, the colors are the same. These aren't dulled down just because they're in a project pad. Like they are spot on all right, totally jazzed about that. That little balloon dog is hilarious. Okay, so then this is a set of absolutely fab alphas and the foiling treatment that is in there is holographic on this really great sky blue. Lovely. All right, so our first page is a cut apart. Oh, and this is what I was excited about too that the lady was telling me. This is the nice, thick, real cardstock that is in this paper pad. She was telling me that, and I was like, I really hope she knows what she's talking about. And she so knew what she was talking about. Okay, so cut apart sheet. Fantastic little icons if you don't want to keep them in little squares, which I'll be cutting those out. I needed that recently. My daughter went to dim sum, and I did a layout, and that would have been fabulous. Okay. So we have that. Oh, we have this cute little cityscape. This reminds me of the colors of her baby collection. Oh, gosh. It, it, it had, like, the cute little bear. Anyway, that reminds me of that. I'm going to come in just a tiny bit more. Okay. So this is, like, a deep navy purple background with pink and purple dots. Very nice. Every arrow in the world and it does have some really nice lime green which is fantastic. Oh, and do you see how cute the branding strip is with the little cars? Okay. Lots and lots and lots of cars. 
And there's the branding strip up there with this really great geometric lime green. Pink and red brick. Great little townhouses. Oh, here it is. Look at this green. It is a super saturated citron green. Oh my word. I love this color. <laughs> this is the color of my mother's breezeway, which is exceedingly bold, but I do like some saturated color. All right, so this has a holographic on the words. Oh my goodness, I want to cut them out, but some are overlapping. Rocco, it's okay, buddy. My bulldog wants in. All right, so these cameras, a bunch of them have holographic polka dots, but then some just have the pink or the teal or whatever the colors. Give me one second. My dog's trying to get in and he's freaking out. Hold on. I'm coming. This is what happens when you try to lock your dogs out. They make sure that they get right back in. Okay, so this is so cute. These cameras are so cute. It's like you want to cut up the three million that are on here and just use them on every single thing you do, and that might be happening. <gasps> oh, okay, let's do the test. Oh my. All right, so this is glitter cardstock. It's super thick like like thick so pure silver not no yellow tinge no blue tinge pure silver oh my the world's most gorgeous orchidy color <laughs> that is so fantastic that it's in a pad all right so now we are into our cardstock so this is a nice kind of a brick matte red it's somewhere between brick and tomato soup, a little deeper than tomato soup, like Campbell's tomato soup, not like real tomato soup. So kind of that color. Oh, and what I was checking was to see if the glitter came off on the page and I have like maybe the smallest one dot right there. So it's not the kind that gets everywhere. Okay, so we have a nice dusty saturated slate, the baby blue, and it's cool because, see I don't know, it still looks or feels like it has a texture to it that is really cool this nice butter yellow so now we're getting to a little bit more of a saturated turquoise orchid oh that is gorgeous what color blue is this it's almost like civil war uniform blue is that is that a blue i don't know if that's a blue this is a fabulous saturated orchid as well. A mauvey pink, citron green, and that's it. So this project pad and any others that Joanne might get just stole my heart because it is a paper pad, right? But you're not getting two and three of the same piece of paper, so you will actually get through this pad. Oh, I, I am so loving this. You will get through this pad and you'll be able to come up with some of the most fun little projects with it. So I am loving it. I hope you like it too. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. What I can tell you in the U.S. at least is the prices that are online for these products, the ones that you can have that say ship to, ship to store and all that kind of stuff, are the prices that I paid in store. So that right there makes it kind of like the cool bees knees. All right, bye. Bye, everybody. Oh, be sure to like, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff, and I'll be getting back to you ever so quickly with the next video. Bye-bye.